yet again, once more, we should check whether we can um, run the bullishness uh, the entire way through paler profit here. As a uh, stock is uh, slashing around, yet for the most part, floating higher, uh, around 26 bucks right now. Many uh, a respectable day, we will get somewhat more love for it, perhaps after profit here. As we take a gander at a product organization that is never shy of unpredictability, their viewpoint for the financial year uh, is fundamentally precisely in accordance with assumptions they are discussing artificial intelligence. And uh, they raise their viewpoint, yet the road was searching for them to raise their standpoint, given their man-made reasoning programming that they are making uh, to the point that somewhat, uh, I believe, is normal as of now, yet consistently good to see uh, a takeoff in assumptions on the following numbers for the monetary first quarter. For them, development was 21%, 634 million versus 616 million. I don't have the foggiest idea why they wouldn't be compensated for this report. KG, given the market was loaded with uh, hopefulness today, is there um, anything negative here? Um, well, Oliver, I'm seeing them truly missing the entire year guide and Q2 guide. Yet perhaps there was a wide reach, right? And there probably won't be an adequate number of experts uh, for this to truly have a make an effect. Yet I have their entire year. Income guide at 2.67 billion and 2.68 billion versus the roads. Assessed 271 uh, billion. And afterward, I likewise had the Q2 arriving shortly short. Um, two, yet... Uh, I think at this moment. So we'll find out how this is all turning out to work out. I think right now we presumably need to zero in on the business side of the business. We truly saw a truly pleasant report last quarter, where they saw a lot of development when it came to welcoming on new ad organizations on the grounds that, uh, you know, while you're seeing government gets, those can be uh, not many in the middle between. You can get a lot of flood uh, at one specific moment. So they need to attempt to move towards more business. Uh, it does uh, sound like they are multiplying down on that and discussing how their foundation will be equipped towards uh, other market portions that perhaps they're only sort of getting into as of now. And truly focusing on the business. Uh, client, uh, there's a ton of uh, exercises too. While you're taking a gander at the choice market, the dollar 30 calls were being designated. Yet a decent measure of dollar 25 calls was being sold too. So we could have that underlying pop yet. How about we perceive how this thing marinates most definitely? Yet I'm somewhat taking a gander at their direction contrasted with what we are seeing from Briars or LSEG presently. Yet contrasted with what you're seeing from those evaluations, it appears as though they truly missed on the aids for Q2 pushing ahead as well as financial year. Polina advances as of late detailed profit that beat examiners' assumptions. And this result was anticipated by Wedbush Protection's Dan Iowas, who's been a Polina bull for quite a while. ES wrote in another note to financial backers that Polina is in an ideal situation to exploit the computer-based intelligence transformation, keeping up with his beat rating and $35 value. Focus on the stock. EES expects Palena to gather a significant portion of what he accepts to be a dollar one trillion simulated intelligence worldwide. All out addressable market as big business and government biological systems. Race to execute helpful stages for robotizing complex work processes. So Lair Ives is very bullish on Palena and sees a potential gain of over 40% in the stock. Yet he isn't the main examiner amped up for Palin's future possibilities. After its income in the present video, we will talk about Palenti Profit to show you why IES is so bullish on the stock. We'll likewise discuss a few different investigators that are following Ives' model and turning bullish on paler stock. Yet before we do that, if you have any desire to stay aware of Palente most recent updates, and stay aware of the Securities Exchange's most recent news. You can follow our Twitter account, 
We post on numerous occasions every day about the greatest changes and impetuses on the lookout. So click the follow button to miss the freshest. Market refreshes now to the present video. Better believe it. The, um, I would agree that the Q2 income certainly seems like uh, it might have been exceptional. That one's uh, looking like 649 to 653. Road searching for like 653. Um, the income I'm seeing is essentially right in line. However, for the financial year, uh, around 2.68. Yet, uh, look, I mean, by and large, having the option to lift these numbers up, lovely strong. There's a ton of stuff going on geopolitically too that they're discussing in the call that is not an unexpected Caroline. I mean, this is an organization with the enormous government contracts. So somewhat they could profit from a little pressure all over the planet. Right back in 2023, the business income was 45% of buy and large income. And afterward, the rest was government. Yet I will express returning to Kevin's point about the US business income. So that developed 40% year more than year and 14% year, a uh, quarter more than quarter to $150 million. The client count there developed 69% year more than year and 19% quarter over quarter. So I feel that is significant in light of the fact that I think the unavoidable issue is, might the artificial intelligence energy at any point truly support Palin's development? I saw Dan Ives out with a note heading into this report saying that U.S. business strength force will be so key. He has a beat rating and a $35 value. Focus on the one thing with Paler that is fascinating. It was up 8% heading into this report. Is that it's truly been exchanging over its middle value target, which was $21.50. So I feel that uh, there would be questions. Are there going to be a few changes here in light of these outcomes, or has this been all valued into Palante or portions? So I feel that that will be a central issue going ahead yet. Uh, that that U.S. business income development of 40% is really amazing. We'll need to check whether sufficiently it's to uh, drive the stock higher, see a pop, yet it appears as though it's going lower in light of this diagram. Palente revealed an EPS of eight pennies for the quarter, which was in accordance with the assumptions for Money Road investigators. Anyway, the organization's income which was $634.4 million. Beat assumptions for $625 million. The organization's quarterly overall gain was likewise noteworthy, as it detailed $15.5 million, contrasted with $16.8 million in the year prior quarter, denoting its sixth sequential quarter of benefit done IES, accepts that the organization's computerized reasoning stage and training camps make Palena stand apart, contrasted with other simulated intelligence programming organizations. And on the off chance that you listen, pay attention to the organization's QQ1 profit call. You'd realize that President Alex K totally concurs with him in the call. K made a striking statement saying that Paler has no rivals in the U.S. business. In government areas, K flaunted that Palin's information examination programming is in something else altogether contrasted with different sellers, contending that opponents are centered around slender simulated intelligence applications and can't rival Palenti universally useful tech that coordinates and dissects information for a gigantic scope. He likewise trumpeted Palenti tight binds with the U.S. government, guaranteeing 